This video demonstrates the use of interactive groundwater to perform plume transport modeling. Various types of contaminant plumes are shown, such as an instantaneous source, a continuous source, a lake, a general head dependent boundary, a recharge zone, and an injection well. A cross-section profile model showing the migration of the plume is shown, and also a monitoring well that provides a breakthrough curve of the contaminant plume. This video also demonstrates the impact of increasing the model resolution on plume transport, that is, lower numerical dispersion. The steps to create the model are outlined briefly. Step 1. Load the IGW model from previous example. 2. Create a polygon representing the initial extent of a contaminant plume that is instantaneously injected into the aquifer. Edit this polygon in Attributes Explorer. Go to the Prescribed Head slash Concentration tab. Go to Source Concentration, check Instantaneous, and enter 100 ppm in the text box. 3. Create a second polygon representing contaminant that is continuously injected into the aquifer across the extent of the polygon. Edit in Attributes Explorer. In the Prescribed Head Concentration tab, go to Source Concentration, check Continuous, and enter 100 ppm in the text box. 4. Create a lake polygon near the well that is contributing contaminant to the aquifer. Edit in Attributes Explorer. Go to the Head Dependent Flux tab and select Two-Way Head Dependent Flux. Assign a constant lake stage, a constant lake bottom, a constant lake leakens. Then check the concentration box at the bottom and enter 50 ppm in the text box. 5. Create a polygon representing a second surface water body supplying contaminant near the well. In the Head Dependent Flux tab, check General Head Dependent Flux. Enter a source head or a constant head of the source water body. Provide a leakance and check the concentration box and enter 100 ppm in the text box. Six, create a polygon where contaminant enters the aquifer at a prescribed recharge rate. In the prescribed flux tab, check constant and assign 10 centimeters per year in the text box. Then check the recharge concentration box and enter 1000 ppm in the text box. Seven, add an injection well in the middle of the modeling domain and edit in Attributes Explorer. Select injection well Assign a flow rate of 800 cubic meters per day, and underneath concentration, select constant and enter 100 ppm. 8. Draw a cross section through the first polygon created in step 2. Select the Draw Cross Section icon and draw the cross section as you would a polyline. Nine. Create a monitoring well next to the pumping well. Edit in Attributes Explorer. Select None underneath the Pumping and Injection options. Underneath Monitoring Well, check the Monitoring Head and Concentration box. 10. Discretize and run the model. Eleven. Edit the Profile Display for Cross Section 1 window. Check Concentration and uncheck Head. 12. In Attributes Explorer, go to the bottom left window and check the Head slash Concentration box just underneath the Well 4 box. In the window that appears, check the Concentration box to display the Concentration Breakthrough Plot. 13. Run the model forward. Note the plume transport in the IGW workspace and the results being displayed in the profile and breakthrough plots. Fourteen. Stop the model and increase the number of grid cells, and then re-discretize the model. 
15. Solve the groundwater flow model for the new grid resolution by clicking Run the model forward once. Sixteen. After viewing the results, save the IGW model. 